Uh, can we all collectively say holy crap? Because no one expected this. No one expected this announcement from the Marvel side after days of just, you know, Sony and Marvel, uh, Sony and Disney just warring it out over Spider-Man, which apparently from last I heard, there's still um, negotiation on the table about it. So, yeah, and if you want to check out more of our thoughts on that, go check out the past three videos we've done here on the channel from Jay and uh, C-Dubs. But, um, aside from that, we got some really big news of three characters. I had all, well, actually two, I should say. One I was pretty sure was going to show up in some capacity in the MCU. But there were two other characters that got announced uh, for Disney Plus shows that made me go, Oh! Oh, wow, because I have given up all hope of these two in particular, but yeah, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, and She-Hulk are all coming to Disney+, Plus. and as we know, those shows are directly tied to the MCU. So in other words, yeah, these three characters are going to be directly tied to the MCU. How cool is that? Like, again, I knew that Kamala was going to be in the MCU at some point. Because we are, like, Kevin Feige has talked about several times over that Miss Marvel, it's not a matter of if, it's more of a matter of when we were going to see um, Kamala in the MCU because he really loves that character. And so do, you know, thousands upon thousands of fans. So I'm really, you know, I'm really um, excited to see Kamala in here. Now, the big question is for her is that, are they going to make her a mutant or an inhuman, or are they going to change her powers? Because you guys remember, yeah, she's inhuman, but, um, yeah, the MCU tried and failed miserably to get inhumans to be a thing when we didn't want them to be a thing. So, it could easily be that they could change it that she's a mutant. That she could, you know, now that we have the X-Men, you know, back with Disney, um, there is a viable chance that she could be a mutant. And I don't know if I'd be okay with that. I mean, she's one of the few Inhumans we actually like. Let's be real, people. Um, but it's, again, it's up in the air. They could easily still go the Inhuman route. They could easily still do that and keep true to her origin. Or they could do something different. This is The MCU isn't always 100% accurate to the Marvel Universe, so um, it's really up to debate, really. But com seeing Kamala in here is really cool. And yeah, it, it maybe she might be the new face of Marvel if we don't get our sh they don't get their shit together with um di you know with Sony. But let's talk about the other two. Let's talk about the big two of the three. Not to discredit you know Kamala in any way, shape, or form, but let's talk about Moon Knight and She Hulk in the MCU. Did anyone think at this point we were going to get them after years upon years of hoping for a movie or a guest appearance or something of that nature? No one thought. For a second, that we were going, we had lost all hope on She-Hulk and Moon Knight getting MC, you know, making MCU debut in some dispute. It is TV show, but they are the Disney Plus Disney, uh, the, the eh, excuse me, the Disney Plus Marvel shows are going to tie in directly to the M MCU. So yeah, now there's a big chance we could actually see Moon Knight and She-Hulk on the big screen there uh, as well. So the big thing is with Moon Knight is that this is going to be probably a very dark show. Um, Moon Knight is, by all means, a very dark character. Um, and also, the big thing with Moon Knight is that he is a mentally unstable superhero. He is a very mentally uh, um, unstable character with uh, dissociative personality disorder. So that's the big thing you have to you really have to carry over from the comics with this character is that Mark Spector has like three, four different identities in him. And um, that's the big thing you really have to play with, is that he is not okay in the head. He has a serious case of dis dissociative personality disorder, and it really messes with him. And you really have to drive... You cannot, I repeat, cannot gloss over that with this character, because that is a major thing with this character, is that he's not mentally stable. Um and that really is something you can play into. I would recommend, I really hope they play with the Warren Ellis slash Cullen Bunn slash Jeff Lemire run, especially the Jeff Lemire Moon Knight run, because that one really played with his, um, his mental instability and how it connected with Khan Shu, which was kind of like, is Khan Shu really a thing? Because even Doctor Strange was like, there's no dude named Khan Shu in the, in the pantheons. I don't know who you're praying to, but that's, that's not a thing. So... 
that that would be really interesting and really like play with um you could really make this like a street level version of legion that's really how you how i could see moon knight is that you could make this a street level version of legion um with the kind of mental um psychological look into this character's mind like the same way uh, legion did so that would be really cool um but that's the big thing i don't want them to gloss over and just make like um, and just gloss over and just make this a, just another generic, just make this like Daredevil 2.0. Don't do that. Not to discredit Daredevil in the least, but Mark Spector is not Matt Murdock, and I really hope that whoever gets to be put on this assignment understands that. <laughs> um, but I digress. But let's, uh, yeah, let's talk about the other person, let's talk about the other, uh, superhero in the room, and that is Jen Walters, She-Hulk. Oh boy. Can we just talk about that's one character, the one female character we've wanted, probably more, if, just as if not more than Carol Danvers. We've all wanted Jen Walters in the MCU in um, since Incredible Hulk. Let's let's be fucking real. Um, we've wanted this character in here since 2008. That's how long we've wanted. We've waited for her to show up in the MCU. Now, I don't. Uh, as far as I saw, there was no like. Um, confirmed date for these characters. There was no like, um... There was no release date for these characters as far as I know. There, um... But yeah, we do know that they are coming. So, here's the other question I want to pose, is that how are they going to do the origin for Jen? Are they going to... Um, obviously, I really hope they go with the original origin that Bruce gives her a tr blood transfusion and uh, that, um that it basically saves her after she is nearly assassinated by some gangsters she was prosecuting. And maybe, it'd be actually really cool now that I think about it, that maybe this can be how we introduce Daredevil. Because yeah, defense attorney, the law and all that, that would be really cool. That would be something to really play with, um, with Daredevil. Is that you could have Matt Murdock, not even have him as, as Daredevil, show up in She-Hulk. Like he, like her and Matt are having this battle of wits in a courtroom. That'd be really cool. The other thing is that while She-Hulk currently in the Jason Aaron run is kind of like being big and aggressive and what have you, and justifiably she's kind of gone, Jen's kind of gone through a lot, I really hope we keep with the jovial, fun, um, like John Byrne and Dan Slott kind of She-Hulk, where she's fun. Because you gotta remember, she, Jen was a very lovable character. She was this very lovable, happy-go-lucky, I love being a green giant Tess, so... Yeah, I love life to the fullest, so I really hope we get that one and have a little more fun with this character. And I know what you're thinking, oh, we need someone big and buff to play Jen. You really don't, because Jen Walters, when she's not She-Hulk, is really just kind of... She's just really... She's small, she's she's not, I wouldn't say gangly, but she's skinny. I, yeah, you don't really need a buff actress. I mean, you're probably going to do CGI with her. That's why I don't really think we need a, you know, a, not to discredit, you know... Uh, muscular women or anything. I'm just saying they're going to probably do CGI with her. Um, so you really don't need someone of like a, a massive statuesque form because yeah, it's probably going to be like Mark Ruffalo where they're going to have her in a CGI in a motion capture suit and just have it, have it like done like that. So that's the big thing right there. Again, like I don't think you just need someone who can be funny. I'd be fine with a comedian. Not, I'm not talking like Melissa McCarthy or like maybe Felicia Day. Actually, Felicia Day would not be bad as uh, as Jen Walters or something of that degree. But point being is that now that we know that Mark Ruffalo only has one movie left, it's about time we got um, She-Hulk in the MCU. And I feel like they were all kind of counting. They were all kind of like crap. Uh, we, M Ruffalo's only got one more Hulk movie left, and Hulk has kind of been on a downpour. So maybe yeah, let's bring in She-Hulk. And what would be kind of cool is that maybe this way we could actually have, like, some Hulk villains show up. I mean, would I prefer to see them, you know, the Hulk fight his actual rogues gallery? Yeah, but I'll settle for this. Um, maybe we can get Abomina Abomination. Abomination is still in the MCU. And hey, they're bringing back Baron Strucker. So, not Baron Strucker, uh, Baron Zemo, excuse me. They're bringing Zemo back, so it would make sense to, and stand to reason that you could bring Abomination back you could even do leader. You could actually, yeah, they hinted at the leader way back, and you could finally, you could bring back Tim Blake Nelson and have him play the leader 
and they're going after the Hulk, and that's how you could do it, is that maybe Leader is going after the Hulk, and now that he knows he's wounded, and Jen gets caught up in this whole mess, gets wounded, gets the blood transfusion, becomes She-Hulk, and, you know, takes on that kind of mantle of the Hulk in the, in the MCU. So, yeah. I'd be really, yeah, there you go. There's the, that's what I hope the whole story is. Her taking on Leader and Abomination, and Hulk going on one last run. Yeah, but who knows? I'm just the fanboy. What can I say? So you guys tell us here at the at uh, Comic Universe. What do you guys think of the? What do you guys think of the arrival of the into the MCU of Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, and She Hulk? Are you guys excited? Or are you guys not? Just comment below. Let us know. And if, as always, if you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button and be a part of Earth's mightiest subscribers. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.